We're all familiar with the moon. It hangs in the sky above our heads most nights, and you probably know it well enough to recognize the ever-famous face of the man on the moon. Yet the moon is tidally locked on the Earth, meaning that it takes the moon as long to rotate on its axis as it takes to orbit the Earth, about 27 days. This is why when you look up into the sky night after night, the moon always looks the same. This leaves the dark side of the moon, or the side not visible to us, as somewhat of a mystery to most people. And just recently, that mystery deepened. Today we're taking a look at this massive moon mystery in giant mass discovered on the far side of the moon. On July 20, 1969, the world held its breath as two American astronauts began their descent to the lunar surface. Packed inside a lander the size of a large closet, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin slowly eased their vessel, the Eagle, to the surface below. The moon had previously been explored remotely by telescope and moon probes, but people were still unsure what the conditions on the surface were like. Some feared that the lander would come down on ground that was nothing more than loose soil, and the entire spacecraft would be swallowed up. As as if it had fallen into quicksand. As the Eagle slowly descended, millions of Americans and millions more of Earth's citizens around the world all held their breath, watching the greatest accomplishment in human history unfold on their television screens, unsure if they would be watching a mighty triumph or a horrible catastrophe. Eventually, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin made their safe landing, and a half hour later, they stuck the American flag on the soil that was loose yet still firm enough to safely stand on. Their initial explorations of the moon and the following Apollo missions all revealed a lunar landscape made up of a thick layer of loose and very fine dust, but with solid crust underneath, the result of lava flows and the impact of tens of thousands of asteroids. With an interest in one day building a lunar base, which could serve as a jumping off point for manned missions deeper into the solar system, NASA began to study the composition of the moon in detail. Yet interest waned as the American manned space program got stuck in lower Earth orbit for the last 50 years. Today though, there is once again talk at NASA of returning to the moon with plans to put the first woman on the moon in 2024 as part of NASA's growing push to put humans deeper into space than ever before, and one day in the 2030s on the surface of Mars itself. This has created a need for updated maps and geographical knowledge of the moon, a task which various international probes and orbiters have been tackling for the last few years. NASA's astronauts will eventually build a manned lab on the moon from which to conduct research and even mine for fuel and other resources that are too cost prohibitive to put into orbit from Earth. This means that we need to know as much about the moon as possible long before the first humans go back. It was in one such recent preparatory study that a stunning anomaly was discovered on the dark side of the moon lurking just below the lunar surface, with its face permanently turned away from us. The dark side of the moon is the least understood by the general public, and has fueled conspiracy theories for decades. Everything from an alien base to crashed alien spaceships to a secret joint American and Russian base have all been claimed to exist on the side of the moon we never get to see from Earth. And while no nation spacecraft have ever discovered any of these things, what they have discovered recently hints at a massive mystery with no clear answer. The anomaly was discovered in early April of this year and consists of a titanic mass of material that initially had scientists staring at their data in disbelief. Located just beneath the largest surviving impact crater in the solar system, the moon's South Pole Aitken Basin is a mass of material lurking just beneath the lunar surface that's suspected to be metal from an asteroid that crashed into the moon billions of years ago. Data shows that the buried anomaly is a mass of metal roughly five times bigger than the island of Hawaii, and the crater itself is 1,243 miles wide. That's the distance from Waco, Texas to Washington, D.C. The crater is also several miles deep, and the weight of this mysterious mass is so great that it actually drags down the basin floor by as much as a half a mile. Scientists speculate that the mass is the result of the initial impact and contains most of the asteroid's metal core. If so, then this impact must have been titanic indeed, and would have been without a doubt a life killer for anything crawling around on the Earth a few billion years ago. While the impact is estimated to have been about 4 billion years ago, it's believed that life got its start on Earth 3.5 billion years ago. At least that's how far back the fossil record has taken us. Perhaps life was around when this massive impact happened, and if so, then we might owe our very survival to the moon being a real class act and taking one for the team. Other scientists, however, are skeptical of the mystery mass really being the surviving core of a huge asteroid, as it would be extremely unlikely that so much of it would survive impact and then stay relatively put for billions of years. Instead, they believe that the mystery mass is nothing more than dense oxides, 
created during the last stage of lunar magma ocean solidification. This would have taken place approximately around the same time as the asteroid impact, and as a result of the moon finally cooling off from its violent birth as the remains of a planetoid impact with the young Earth. For many millions of years, the heat of the impact was trapped inside the dense core of the moon, much like in the Earth, and kept heated by the decay of radioactive elements. Eventually, though, as the moon cooled, its volcanic activity ceased, and its oceans of magma solidified into the crust we see today, and that US astronauts played golf on five decades ago. The giant mystery mass would thus be nothing more than the anomalous but perfectly natural aggregation of really dense oxides that were trapped by the cooling lava over a hundred miles beneath the surface. Sadly, without a return to the moon, we won't be solving this mystery anytime soon, and we'll have to speculate on the real nature and origin of this massive moon mystery for at least five more years to come, if NASA's budget isn't pulled again. However, conspiracy theorists have wasted no time in jumping into the mystery, and have already offered a dozen explanations for the anomalous mass lurking beneath the surface, everything from a buried kaiju to, you guessed it, alien bases. Personally, the alien hypothesis is the one that's most exciting, because to be honest, the universe seems like a really big but really lonely place. It would be nice if we had next door neighbors all this time, and getting to know an alien civilization would give us a great comparison point to our own. To know ourselves, we must first know others. Only then can we find out what's really unique and extraordinary about humanity. Or perhaps we're just painting a rosy picture to get your guard down, because we here at the Infographics Show secretly worship our alien overlords from Zeti Reticuli, who have built a moon base from which to eventually invade Earth and eat your delicious brains. What do you think is really buried beneath the dark side of the moon? Are your brains delicious? We're asking for a friend. Let us know in the comments, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more great content.